What's up guys, welcome to this week's video of Garden Fix series. Today we are going to go through the importance of transition. If you've got a good transition in your swing, you're going to save all the power to the last minute and you're going to make sure your sequencing your downswing is correct. A couple of drills to work with whilst you're at home. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure you click the like button and the subscribe and I will see you on the other side. So transition is very, very simple. We're going to break it down into a couple of key components. In the most simple sense, transition is basically how do you go from your backswing to your downswing? Which body part do you think moves first? Do you think it's mainly lower body starts the downswing? Or do you think it's upper body? For example, some people will hit balls and they will be very much arms first and no lower body. Some people will be too much lower body with the arms in the wrong spot. And I want you to think of this in the most simple way. If you've answered my earlier question and you said that you think it's the lower body that should move first, you are completely right. The reason for that, if you think about anything athletic, so imagine if you were gonna throw a ball, when you throw a ball as far as you can, you'll lift your lead foot off the floor, you'll load into your right side, and then you will plant the left foot, then the hips and torso and chest, and lastly, the arm and hand will release the golf ball. That's your sequencing of movements, and that is exactly the same when we're thinking of a golf swing. One of the most simple drills there is, you're going to address the golf ball, and then you're going to swing up and step your left foot over to your right foot, and before you've actually completed your bat swing, I want you to replant that left foot and swing through. So it's not like you swing all the way up to the top, and like a Hideki Matsuyama, wait there for about two years. I actually want you to feel that as that club's still going back, you replant that front foot and rotate. If some of you don't feel like you've got that feeling of loading the shaft, it is purely because your sequencing may be in the wrong order. So we're gonna set up to the golf ball, look at a target which isn't there, but the mud, and we're gonna swing up, and then through. That was probably the best strike I've done since I've been out here. That was ridiculous. But essentially, it's load into that right leg, and then the transition is this lower body replants, left knee starts to move outward slightly. That gets the hips coiling, that gets the chest coiling, and then the arms and hands just get flung through for the ride with a good amount of speed. So the drill is you're lifting your lead foot up as you take the club back, and before your hands swing down, you replant that left foot. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and give it a like for me. The more subscribers I can get, the better, and I would love it if you could get on board with the team. It's gonna be another one coming out on Sunday, so make sure you tuned in and press that little alarmy thing, and that alarmy thing will tell you when my next video is up. So take care everyone, I hope it helped, and I'll speak to you all soon.